This video is a follow-up of a previous video. In the previous video, I posed this breakfast challenge, which is to find the number of cups of yogurt and the number of ounces of granola I should have so that I can consume 30 grams of protein for my breakfasts. And to solve this problem, we arrived at this linear equation about the two unknown variables, x sub 1 and x sub 2, where x sub 1 is the number of cups of yogurt and x sub 2 is the number of ounces of granola. So in this video, we're going to look at the solutions to this equation. Because this is an equation about two unknown variables, the solutions of this equation are so-called ordered to tuples. Um, they are pairs of numbers x sub 1 comma x sub 2. These ordered two tuples contain the information of how many cups of yogurt and how many ounces of granola. These two numbers have to pair together to be a solution of the equation. I don't know how to solve the equation yet, but I can already figure out the, the solutions in some extreme cases. For example, let's verify that the two tuples, 0, comma, 30 over 2.8, is a solution of this equation. That is to say, verify x sub 1 equal to 0 and x sub 2 equal to 30 over 2.8 is the solution of this equation. In order to do this, let's plug in this two tuple into the original equation. So 12 times x sub 1 plus 2.8 times x sub 2 in the case where x sub 1 is 0 and x sub 2 is 30 over 2.8 is equal to 12 times 0 plus 2.8 times 30 over 2.8 that is equal to 0 plus 30 which is equal to 30 which is exactly what the equation says, and therefore this two-tuple is the solution of this equation. Is this a desirable solution? And specifically, this solution says if I have no yogurt at all, and 30 over 2.A, which is about 10.7143 ounce of granola, then that gives me 30 grams of protein. Now, how much is 10.7143 ounce of granola? One granola bar is about one ounce of granola. So this is about 11 granola bars. Who wants to have 11 granola bars with no yogurt to wash them down? So even though this is one solution of the equation, it does not give you a very pleasant breakfast. In the meantime, I already figured out another solution in an, in an extreme case. Let's verify that the 2 tuple 2.5 comma 0 is also a solution of this linear equation. To verify that, we see that two, 12 times x sub 1 plus 2.8 times x sub 2 in the case where x sub 1 is equal to 2.5 and x sub 2 is equal to 0 is equal to 12 times 2.5 which is 30 plus 2.8 times 0 which is 0 which is equal to 30. Therefore this 2 tuple 2.50 is also a solution of this equation. In other words if I have two and a half cups of yogurt and no granola, I can also get 30 grams of protein. So we already have more than one solution to this linear equation. And we can actually find more. So you can verify on your own that x sub 1 equal to 1 and x sub 2 equal to 18 over 2.8 is a solution. And x sub 1 equal to 2 x sub 2 equal to 6 over 2.8 is also a solution, etc., etc., etc. 
Now, there's a neat way to visualize these solutions in the x or y plane because remember, every ordered two tuple corresponds to a point in the x or y plane. For example, the first two tuple is here at zero and thirty over two point eight, so it's this point. The second tuple is here two point five zero. And we can plot the third and fourth two tuples on the x or y plane correspondingly. And after plotting all of them in the x or y plane, we find an interesting phenomenon. All these points line up on a straight line. In fact, you can show that every point on this line as a two-tuple is a solution to this linear equation. And on the other hand, any solution to this linear equation as a two-tuple is a point on the straight line. That's because the equation of this straight line is exactly 12 times x plus 2.8 times y is equal to 30. And I'm going to leave it to you to show that on your own. So this linear equation about two unknown variables have infinitely many solutions. Because for any value that x sub 1 takes, there is a corresponding value of x sub 2 so that the two tuple x sub 1, x sub 2 can satisfy this equation.